Let us explore how to find least common multiple by prime factorization. We already have discussed the process of finding LCM, the least common multiple, by listing multiples and by ladder division. Now prime factorization is a very efficient way of finding least common multiple. You will soon see how. Now as you know, any number can be written as product of its prime factors uniquely. So we'll use this property to find the least common multiple of those numbers. Now here we have two problems. One LCM of 12 and 18. So this is using two numbers and the other one is LCM between 8, 18 and 28. So these are using three numbers. So it is to demonstrate that even with two or three numbers, prime factorization is a good enough method. Now, let's do this first. So, first process is write down unique prime factors. So, the process followed here is given these two numbers 12 and 18, we should So now what? Now we'll do factor tree for the number 12. 12 can be, I hope you remember how to do prime factorization. If not, we have a video on that which you can look into. Now here, 12, you can divide 12 as a factor of 2 and 2 times 6 is 12. So we get 2 times 6 and 6 could be written as 2 times 3. Now, as you see, we have got prime numbers now. These are all prime numbers. We can circle them. And now let's do prime factorization of 18. So for 18, well, as you know, we can start anyway. You can start with 2 times 9 or you can do 6 times 3. It doesn't matter. Either way, we get the same result. As you know, when you do factorization of a number, you always get a unique set of factors. So the answer will always be exactly same. 6 will be 2 times 3. So you need to process. Now 3 is a prime factor, so we just leave it there. Now you circle all your prime factors. Now for 12, we have prime factors as 2, 2 and 3. And for 18, the prime factors are 2, 3 and 3. So when you multiply these, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18, you get the number back. Same is the case with 12. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So uniquely, you can represent 12 as product of 2, 2 and 3. Similarly, 18 can be written as a product of 2, 3 and 3. Now, to find least common multiple, what we do is, we rewrite these factors. So let's write down. For 12, the factors are 2, 2, and 3. And for 18, the factors are 2, 3, and 3. Once we list these factors, then we select the one which has most number of these factors. So we start with the least factor. The least factor is 2. So we basically have 2 and 3 as factors of these numbers. And we will look for least common, C more. C more of 2, in which one do you see more? Select those. So we say C2, two, 2's here, right? So we'll select these 2's and we'll disregard the other 2. Now we look for 3's. Where do you see more 3's? In 18. So we'll select these 3's and discard the other one. With that, we get a list of factors which when multiplied will give us LCM, the least common multiple. So our least common multiple for 12 and 18 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So when you multiply them, you get 3 times 3. So when you multiply them, you get 4, 4 times 3, and you can do like this, 4 times 9, which is 36. 
So 36 is LCM of 12 and 18. So we can write like this. LCM of 12 and 18 is 36. So that's how you can find LCM of two numbers using prime factorization. Now, let's extend the same technique to three numbers and see how the process can be done. So for three numbers, let's list all the three numbers and then find prime factors. Now, as we did earlier, for 18, we can start with 2 times 4. And 4 is a composite number, so we can still factor it. It is 2 times 2. So we get 2, 2, 2. Now that is all the prime numbers. So 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2. Now let's do for 18. So 18 is an even number, so we'll start with 2. And since 2 is a prime number, we can circle it. And then it is 2 times 9. 9 is a composite number. It could further be factored. So it can be factored as 3 times 3. Now 3 and 3 are prime numbers. So let's circle them. So we get prime factorization of 18, which is 2 times 3 times 3. And now let's do with 28. 28 is written as 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28. Now 7 is a prime number. So we can circle that and 4 is a composite number, which could be written as 2 times 2. So finally, we get to the dead end of the tree with all prime numbers which cannot be further factored. So we have list of 2's, 3's and 5 or 7's, right? We have, so now, we have list of 2's, 3's and 7 with us. A combination of these 2, 3's and 7 will give us 8, 18, 28 and their multiples. The idea is to get the least common multiple. So we'll follow this, the step of listing all the prime factors of each number. Let's start with 8. So there are three numbers, 8, 18 and 28. List all the prime factors. So for 8 it is 2 times 2 times 2. For 18 it is 2 times 3 times 3. And for 28 we have 7 times 2 times 2. So now as you see the first step is prime factorization. Second step is listing them as factors. And third step is to see for most of the same kind. Got it? So we have to look for 2 2's, 3's and 7's. So where do you find most 2's? We find them here in 8. So select them and disregard the other 2's. Correct? Now where do you find most 3's? We find them here. Well, and they are nowhere else. That's fine. And where do you find most 7's? There is one here. So these are the numbers which when multiplied will give us LCM. Correct? So the LCM for us is LCM for these three numbers 8, 18 and 28 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 7. So that is the LCM for these numbers, right? So what do we get? We can multiply all this. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9 times 7. So at times you can use calculator to find your answer, right? So we get 8 times 9 times 7. 8 times 9 times 7. That is 504. So we get our answer as 504. So that is how we can get LCM of numbers which are big enough where the LCM is also pretty big, right? 504. Imagine writing multiples, I mean listing multiples and finding out common ones and the least one. It is going to be very time consuming, right? But the other method, which is the ladder method, ladder division, is equally efficient. Rather, you may find it more convenient at times. 
So, prime factorization and letter division methods are actually very good methods to use to find least common multiple. So, practice some problems using these methods and get used to them. And then we'll have some interesting application problems where you can apply these methods and get the answers quickly. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you and all the best.